That was pretty epic, right? All of the footage that you just saw was captured on the new DJI Mavic Air 2. And to be honest, I'm really amazed with this drone. I captured all of the footage that you just saw in only four flights uh, when I was doing a short road trip last week through southern Bavaria to some of the coolest spots there. During that road trip, I actually shot another video about why I crashed so many drones and why you should do it too. <laughs> No, actually it's a video um, about why we shouldn't be scared of failure and why we should push ourselves to make more mistakes in order to get better at something. So yeah, feel free to check it out or you will also find it at the end of this video. Okay, so what do I think of the Mavic Air 2? So far in the four flights that I've done, I really, really got to like this drone. First of all, it has amazing quality. It can shoot 4K with 60 frames per second and Full HD with 240 frames per second. The second thing is the size of this drone. For me, it's just perfect. It's not too big that you can't fit it in your backpack. And on the other side, it's also not too lightweight to be able to withstand stronger wind blows, which is nice. The feature that I was most excited about is actually the HDR mode. I was blown away by the look of the HDR mode. It's just such a big dynamic range and you're able to capture sunsets with such a good detail in the bright parts of, of the screen. Because I still remember the footage of the first Mavic Pro that I owned and compared to this drone, it's just absolute bull <laughs> to be honest, because every time I shot sunsets with my Mavic Pro, all of the highlights and all of the bright parts of the image were just blown out and overexposed because it wasn't able to handle such a big dynamic range. But with the HDR mode of the Mavic Air 2, I was blown away even by the original footage without color grading. It's just so much detail in the bright and the dark parts of the image. So yeah, probably I'm going to use this drone most of the time in HDR mode. Also the price of this drone is reasonable for me. It's around 800 euros just for the drone and I think for the Fly More package I paid 1050 euros. So yeah, it's still a lot of money but <laughs> considering that you crash a drone, it's still less money than a DJI Mavic 2 Pro, right? <laughs> No, you really get a lot out of this drone for the price and if you get the right settings and the right conditions, you can get absolutely amazing footage with this drone. The only thing that didn't work out as well as I thought was the 8K hyperlapse feature. It's a little bit buggy, the whole thing still, but I'm sure they're going to fix it in the upcoming software updates. If you also think about buying this drone, you can check out my affiliate link in the description. I'm not sponsored or anything by DJI, unfortunately. But if you buy your drone via the link in the description, I get a small commission, which is nice. <laughs> All right, guys, that's it for this video. I just wanted to make a really short and quick video about the footage that I was able to capture with this drone and my experience so far. I myself don't really care too much about all the details that everybody talks about on YouTube. I'm just always curious about the footage that you can get out of it. And if you're like me too, then yeah, here you go. Now you saw what it's like. I hope you enjoyed this video and feel free to subscribe and turn on notifications if you don't want to miss out on any of my upcoming videos. That's it. I hope you guys have a great day and I'm going to see you soon. Bye.